whenever we have substituents in an organic compound the rule says that we give the lowest number to the substituent let's take an example we have an organic compound and we have to find the prefix for this organic compound so we see we have two substituents methyl and ethyl the first step remains the same that is we have to find the longest carbon chain so if we see this is the longest carbon chain we start the numbering from the right hand side that is 1 2 3 so at 3 we have the two substituents if we start the numbering from left that is 1 2 3 4 4 the two substituents will be, will be at the fourth position but the rule says we have to give the lowest number to the substituents so we start the numbering from the right hand side now how should we name the substituents should it be 3 3 dimethyl ethyl because both the substituents are present at the third position should it be 3 methyl 3 ethyl or 3 ethyl 3 methyl now we know we cannot have 3 3 dimethyl ethyl this is because di is used only when we have the same substituent present twice here in this case we have two different substituents so we cannot use di as the prefix so the first name cannot be used now we have 3 methyl 3 ethyl and 3 ethyl 3 methyl how should we name it well the rule given by iupac says that when we have two or more substituents we take the first letter of the substituents and the substituents are arranged alphabetically so in this case if you see the first letter of ethyl is e the first letter of methyl is m so if we arrange it alphabetically we first should have ethyl and then methyl we cannot have methyl before ethyl so this is wrong and this is right so whenever we have two or more substituents we always arrange the substituents alphabetically so this is the rule given by iupac that the substituents are arranged in an alphabetical ma manner let's take another organic compound so we have to find the prefix for this in this case we observe two different substituents again the first step remains the same that is we have to find the longest carbon chain so this is the longest carbon chain in both the cases and we can start the numbering either from left or from right if we start the numbering from left hand side we see that the first substituent is encountered at the fourth position and if we start the numbering from the right hand side the first substituent is encountered at the third position so according to the rule the lowest number has to be given to the substituent so we cannot use this now in this what should be the name should it be 3 methyl 5 ethyl or 5 ethyl 3 methyl we know that even though methyl is getting a lower number while arranging the substituents we have to arrange them alphabetically since e comes before m this is the correct name while arranging them methyl gets the lower number because we have to give the lowest number to the substituent the first rule says give the lowest number to the substituent now even though methyl is getting a lower number while arranging the substituents we always put the substituent which has the first letter coming alphabetically before the second substituent so in this case e comes before m so we arrange ethyl before methyl so let's take a question here we have an organic compound what is the prefix of this organic compound so let's write the compound the first step remains the same find the longest carbon chain now we can start the numbering either from the left or from right when we start from left the first substituent is encountered at fourth position from right the first substituent is encountered at the third position so by the rule the lowest number has to be given to the substituent so this is wrong now in this case we have two substituents methyl and ethyl so the rule says that we arrange the substituents alphabetically so we first place ethyl which is present at the fourth position so we get 4 ethyl and then methyl which is present at the third position so we get 3 methyl so this is the prefix for this organic compound
Let's take another organic compound. We have to find the prefix for this organic compound. So the first step remains the same. Find the longest carbon chain. Now this is the longest carbon chain. We start the numbering from the right hand side. When we start from right, at position 2, we have two methyl groups. If we start the numbering from the left hand side, we get 1, 2, 3, 4. The first substituent would be encountered at the fourth position. So to give the lowest number to the substituent, we start the numbering from the right hand side. Now, while arranging them, we have to arrange them alphabetically. So we have one ethyl group and two methyl groups. So we get 2, 2, dimethyl and 4 ethyl. So do you think this is right? We have D here and E. D comes before E, so we get dimethyl before ethyl. So is this correct? No, this is not. This is because while arranging the substituents alphabetically, we have to take into account the first letter of the substituent. That is E and M. D cannot be used as the letter. This only shows the prefix. That is the number of times a substituent is present. So this is not taken into account. While arranging the substituents alphabetically, the first letter of the substituent name is taken. So in this case, we observe that E comes before M. So we get 4-ethyl and then 2,2-dimethyl as the prefix for this organic compound. Let's take a question here. This is an organic compound. We have to find the prefix for this organic compound. So let's write this. Let's find the longest carbon chain now. So this is the longest carbon chain. If we start the numbering from the left hand side, we get 1, 2, 3. The first substituent is present at position 3. If we start from right, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to give the lowest number to the substituents, we start the numbering from the left hand side. So this is how we number it. Now to arrange the substituents alphabetically, let's see we have methyl group and two ethyl groups. So the E comes before M. So we first place the ethyl groups and then the methyl groups. So let's see the two ethyl groups are present at position 4. So we get 4 comma 4 diethyl and then we place the methyl group that is present at position 3. So we get 3 methyl. So this is the prefix for this organic compound. So we take into account the E and M and not the D. So while arranging the substituents alphabetically, the first letter of the substituent name is taken. So keep in mind the two rules. The first rule says that the lowest number should be given to the substituent. And while arranging the substituents, they should always be arranged in the alphabetical manner.